Okay, music boy. Let's see if you're a music boy. These Grundig sets um, are really nice. It's just such a shame that that front wheel's gone. I mean, obviously the handle was snapped away from the casing, but you know that's fixable. The padding's all there. It's not damaged in any way. As I say, that would have been a nice little set if only I had that grill. Well, assuming it um, it works. Let's see how we get this apart. So, battery compartment. Alf. Zoo. Open, close. We want open. Hmm. Bit of perished foam in there. It says music three lux two oh eight one four nine nine eleven. If any of that means a date code. 1999, I don't think it's that new, is it? it? Looks like a dust cover's gone on the speaker as well, so this could be interesting. The dust cover is well gone. I hope there's no crud in that, otherwise that ain't gonna work at all. Well, it's gotta be nine volt. PP9 battery tab anyway. Didn't have me things on did I? Let's give this one a quick clean off before I get myself any filthier. These wet wipes are pretty handy for cleaning crud. It's got Luxembourg on it. BBC light, so yeah, it's gotta be a uh, 60, 70 set, probably 60s I would think then with lights still on it. There, that's a little more a little bit more healthy. Let's hook my uh, power supply up to it then. Right. Okay, no current draw at the moment. We've got something in the um, in the tuning capacitor by the sound of it. So Laos Stark is um, volume basically and sender is tuner. It's actually performing really well on long wave considering I've not turned nothing off. It's got a good filtration on it. John Walsh, Natalie Haynes, Sebastian Folks, Mark Billingham, and our reader Beth Chalmers. Thanks as well to our audience here today, and to all of you for listening. Until next week, goodbye! The right stuff
compiled, written, and presented by James Wilson. The producer... Wow, right, let's try medium wave. Looks like we've got short wave on this one as well. Mmm. until I pulled the battery clip off and that's really good sound for medium wave, really good sound mm. battery clips playing up now I'll stick a PP9 in it now I know it's okay go straight in with the battery. There's a little bit of interference from the fluorescent but not a lot. which I mean, looks like it goes from 5.9 to 7.4 so it's a four, 41 to 49 meter band oh that area was lovely oh whoa that's nice it's German engineering for you really good right let's go shortwave do is I'll give it a run through with its um, built in telescopic and then uh, we'll clip a long wire on it to see the difference That sounds French. interfering with what I thought it might be. Apologies for the darkness.
Сложность взаимопонимания между различными польскими народами. В названии конкурса этого года слово «любовь» — это не только страсть и взаимоотношения между мужчинами и женщинами. Это бескорыстная и всепрощающая любовь родителей к детям. Это дружба между друзьями. Это любовь к члену культуре, к природе, любовь к чтению и многое другое. Держайте. Конкурсные работы будут отбирать профессиональные жюри и пользователи интернета по целу онлайнового голосования. В состав профессионального жюри войдут мастера китайского и мирового кино, знатоки тайны культуры и эсперантисты. Может быть, именно вы получите шанс побывать в Китае и принять участие в международном фестивале короткометражного кино «Чеймогой». Подобная информация на нашем сайте. So, liebe Radiofreundinnen und Freunde, mit diesem schönen Lied möchte ich mich von Ihnen verabschieden. Im Anschluss folgt gleich noch unser Sprachkurs Alltags Chinesisch. Ich wünsche Ihnen viel Spaß dabei und viel Erfolg. Das ist nicht German, das ist nicht Really sensitive, really sensitive, that's good. Let's then give it a run back through the bands and connect up. Um, connect up the uh, wire antenna to it. Difference this makes. I'm sure it will transform it. Und ich kann mich leider nicht mehr ganz daran erinnern, sieht man auf Chinesisch sagt, es ist schon spät, ich muss auf den Gehen. Es heißt, Okay, Shijian Putzaula Woman Kai Zola. Shijian has tight. Shijian Putzaula has so This is absolutely chocked full of stations, really sensitive this is. It's a lot of um, fading about but you know. Sounded like Papa Alpha 3, which I think is the Netherlands, so there you go.
Well, we're in between 7 and 7.2 now, which is smack bang in the amateur band, so uh, bear with me. The oven's beeping at me again. That's quite a good channel on the six point. It's got to be about six point four five, I would think. I wonder how accurate that is. Let's fire the icon up in it. Scope on. Okay, so we've got a big station there. No, interference. 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 Cut. One of these has got to be a radio now. That's it, isn't it? Well, I'm not sure what station that is. It's a British station, 6.260. I need to look that up a minute, I think, see who that is. Okay, what I didn't really, what I forgot is I'd set my um, antenna tuner up. If I zoom back out, you see my antenna tuner there. I'd set this one because I was on the uh, 20 meter band earlier, just uh, shouted into a, an Italian special event station for uh, Marconi. And, uh, of course, I had, I had it on coax and I had it tuned for 20 meters, so um, now it's absolutely mental. I've had to put an attenuator in there because it's so loud. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're playing music, so I can't, can't put it off for too long. But um, so let's put the normal meters back on. So 
if I turn the attenuators off you'll uh, see it jump. Let's get in a bit closer. You can see that's uh, S9 plus there, that it's absolutely crazy. <laughs> I did switch AGC off as well, which um, no, just too much music. Sorry about that. Let's put the AGC back on. So yeah, I've got an S9 there. So. Very good. Let's see if it's uh, gone. No, it's still singing. <laughs> but say it's, it's surprising how well the Grundig's doing compared to this as well. I mean, this is a strong station. Let's put the scope back on. Let's uh, put down to 5k. This scope building there, it's quite uh, quite a strong station that. But I still can't find out what it is, so uh, anyone got any ideas then let me know. Because I can't find it, it says it's a Bible station and there's another English talking station but it's um at the wrong time of day for that really. It says uh, Bible voice. Well it's certainly not Bible voice anyway. Right let's get you back to the uh, Grundy. Okay so Well, that possibly suggests that the dial is a little bit out because um, it was six six two six zero on the icon. As you can see, this is this is reading about six point four five. Unless it is, it might be down on that other frequency as well. listen to that all day long that's um that's really sensitive that is it's good sound as well it's got variable tone so you're bassy treble or midway le chef du bureau des relations extérieures relevant du ministère de la culture si est digne pour Well there we are, so scale might be slightly off on shortwave, um, not massively to be honest, 
not worth um, messing with really. Right, let's uh, remove that wire. Final test, VHF. That's an amazing antenna up. Very good on FM. And there were staff that would sort of twang them. I would say to my mum, good God, this is unbelievable. Why are we doing... Tone is probably about right midway. It's, uh, it's really good. Lovely yeah, set. Really nice set. Really I'm just pleased with it. <laughs> squeeze something else in but let me go back to almost where I started which was Matthew Leonard in Peterborough saying how much he loved the Brahms second and asking me to recommend something as good I hope you don't think it's a cop-out if I say Brahms first but you know both of these concertos are right at the heart of the repertoire both are big pieces but I feel number one <laughs> Well, there we are. Um, VHF unfortunately only goes up to 104, but yeah, that's not that much, not too much of a hassle. So that works really well. Very nice little radio, I'm pleased with that. I'll have to do a little bit of research, find out what this grill is, and see if I can hash something up to go over that. Because, I mean, I doubt whether I could sell it on in this condition, so I'll end up keeping hold of it on that spot. Okay, thanks for watching that one, and uh, next we'll move on and try the Dynatron Nomad out.